This spring, the Blood Horse visited TaylorMade Sales for a behind-the-scenes look at yearling sales prep. From January to July, we watched the yearlings' transformation by a process inspired by the late Joe Taylor's horsemanship. This week, we're focusing on conditioning. These horses have been exercising their whole life. They've been out there wrestling with the other colts and running around with the fillies, and they've been running across fields, and they've been doing exercise. But um, now we're, we're going to change that a little bit, and it's going to be uh, structured exercise that we're looking to do cert accomplish certain things with. Exercise is crucial for yearlings' development, experts say, and helps prepare them physically for their future at the track. Bone, tendon, muscle develops and remodels in response to loading and stress, just like in humans. You know, is it, the, the more you stress bone, the more you exercise muscle, the more it develops. Well, if you lock an athlete up in a 12 by 12 buck stall, the bone that they develop and the foot that they develop and the muscle that they develop is diametrically opposed from horses that are outside. For basic conditioning, the automatic walker is a highly efficient tool, says Mark Taylor. The walking machine, truthfully, is a better way to get a horse fit. You can adjust it at a very constant speed and the horse can be on a nice long walk, and they do that for 20 minutes, it's a great form of exercise and it's just very efficient. We like to use it a lot for fillies. The fillies just want to be heavier and they, they, they get, they're harder to get weight off of. It's pretty general across the, central, across the world, really, that fillies start to come to hand uh, are better flesh earlier than colts, and I think a lot of it's hormonal. You know, the colts, their testosterone starts to go and they think they're running the pasture and think they're bad boys. And so they typically grow a lot without getting condition on them this time of year. Each year, a few of TaylorMade's sale yearlings also will swim for fitness. What your swimming is going to accomplish is for a heavy built horse that you just having a hard time getting the weight off of, Swimming will really bring up that underline. The other type of horse that I like as a swimming candidate is one that has, let's say they have epiphysitis in their knees. Their knees are hot, they've been growing a lot, and their knees are achy. You know, they're just in a growth spurt. And the last thing you want to do is put them on the walking machine or in the round pen and have them all that concussion on their legs. Uh, you get them off their legs and you're putting a nice top line on them and, and getting them nice and toned. Another key to physical and mental fitness is the yearling's own pasture. We like to keep our horses outside as much as possible. I mean, one of our, you know, pillars of my dad's whole formula for raising horses is they need to be outside as much as they possibly can. I, I don't think there's anything with, wrong with trotting a yearling in a circle for 20 minutes. You know, if a, if a horse can't trot in a circle for 20 minutes, I don't want to take him to the racetrack, you know. And, and you're trotting in a controlled kind of circumstance and you turn your yearlings out together and they run for 15 minutes as fast as they can go and nobody has any real reservations about that or shouldn't. So I don't think the little exercise we do in the sale is really detrimental if you use your head. 